Hey guys, welcome back to Chan Man's videos. I just came back from a 52 shot against game, 6-4 uh, loss. Um, <laughs> the whole game was either breakaways, 2-on-1s, 3-on-1s, 2-on-0s, uh, two guys in front of the net with no defensemen and they can pass it from behind the net out front for easy tip-ins. It was just brutal. Um, okay, lots of shots later. Lots of slap shots, and now that I've played two games or two on-ice sessions, I can give you guys a pretty good uh, review, breaking down how the equipment was going. Uh, starting with the blocker itself, uh, took a couple of good shots right there. Um, my biggest worry with the blocker and trapper when I bought them is because how narrow the cuff is, uh, as opposed to the warrior g4s i have which is very open um, this thing is very light and it it did not hamper my wrist movement whatsoever very comfortable um, something i didn't realize and i didn't mention in my uh in my shorts video is this palm here this portion here is slightly padded so very comfortable uh, as i was saying i took uh several shots block it right off here uh slap shots off here and here and even in the middle um felt the puck hit it but no pain discomfort it was just like you can feel it because the the puck is hard right you get hit on it but um really I, I it's to say i didn't feel anything it's just because there's no pain um great blocker <clears throat> 180 bucks unbelievable unbelievable blocker 180 okay uh glove my biggest fear with this glove was um for taking slap shots off the palm and that they would sting. I was uh, able to glove uh, about four or five good hard slap shots from uh, inside the blue line around the um, face off circle sort of a distance and as you can see like I even took it right right there nothing no sting no pain at all um, light again very comfortable good closure uh, the ones that I didn't catch off the palm, it actually it directed straight into the pocket and anything in the pocket was in there. Like it was in there. I had to shake it to get it out. So that was really good. Um, again, my fear was that this was a very closed, enclosed um, area for my wrist and my wrist mobility and the positioning of my wrist. I worried that it would be hampered. Not a problem at all. Very, very light good closure and, and like I said just very comfortable um, this was 289 but yeah I wasn't able to get, get the glove on sale um, 289 is the regular price Canadian and again my fear here with the thin padding totally alleviated lots of slap shots lots of glove saves uh, no pain no sting excellent excellent glove for the price the pads <clears throat> um, Several, yeah, you, so actually here, let me just take this, break this part down here for you. I added zap straps here, and that allows me to put this this uh, hook and strap so that I can carry it over my shoulder. Um, what else? Did I, oh, I added another zap strap here to the toe so that these can just go around it and not hang around and dangle everywhere when I'm carrying the, the pads around. Um, very tight, very tight pads. Uh, and I think primarily because this was very short, uh, this, although the bungee cord does stretch quite a bit, um, I feel that it brings the pad too tight to my skate. And even though I strap these loose, I wasn't getting much twist in them uh, towards the bottom of my leg and on top of the skate. So that's something that was different. It took a little, it took some getting used to um, over my Warriors or my old Bonds. Um, tonight, they, they worked out really good. I wore them, I, I made sure to wear them a little bit looser than my first game. And the reason why was my first game, I had a, a one-timer shot going from blocker side to glove side and I slid over. And because the pads were too tight, instead of facing flush against the shot, it angled slightly upward, tw twisting upward like this. And because of how this is angled, do you see how this is like a triangular wedge? The puck actually propelled off this like a ramp. 
and shot the puck straight up into my net only because it didn't twist properly. If you used a more traditional pad uh, like this, I'm just going to use my warrior here, where it's a block. Even if my pad twists upwards and it hits that, it's going to go out versus straight up like a um, stunt ramp. So that's my my complaint with this style of um, a bumper on the side. <clears throat> Having said that, great pad, very light, uh, good slide, uh, no mobility movements. Um, second complaint, this here, this block here, here, I listen to it. That's a pretty hard pad. It's not like, look at this. I can't even squeeze it. It's, it is stiff. Um, so because of how stiff this was, my first skate out, a lot of discomfort um, with my knees banging on here. I actually took this outer flap and stuck it inside for extra padding to go down on here. Um, and then I actually bought volleyball pads to wear inside on my knees uh, for tonight just to see if it helps feel better and that made a huge difference in game number two so this is something um, yeah that was very dis dis uh, sorry I felt a lot of discomfort and just because how hard it is um, going down and slamming your knee down when you're driving it so those are my two complaints with the pad other than that they are light they're comfortable um, for 400 I think it was four hundred and eighty dollar uh, rate a price at the hockey shop. Those are two things I can get over. Um, great deal, light, comfortable. Other than again the slamming of the knee. All right, so I hope that uh, this post uh, two game review helps anyone out there who are looking at the Bauer GSX line and thinking, is this worth my money? The whole set, all all uh, pads, blocker, and glove, cost me under 1,000 Canadians, so it's just over 900 Canadians, taxes included, again, so taxes included, under 1,000 Canadian, um, yeah, you can't go wrong with the quality of these, uh, this equipment, I, if I can, you know, get two, two years out of these things, three years, it's, it's a steal, right, like, come on, that's, that's crazy pricing for gear nowadays. All right, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to drop a comment down and I'll do my best to answer them for you. Have a good day. Have a great day. Bye.